Hey, okay, it's Jester here. Welcome back to Prince of Persia. When we left off last time, we had kicked the concubine's bomb. And she was really annoying. How oh, very confusing, though. If you have the ability to do that illusiony stuff like you do, she did, you would not stop doing it until you had killed the person you were fighting through exhaustion, if nothing else. And she even let Elika go so she could help me fight. Where was the logic there? Well, this is some, like duplicitous trickery going on. That's a very clever word, isn't it? Dupl duplicitous. Not 100% sure no, what it, what exactly it means. I just know that's the right context. Good enough. Anyway, we know we need to go this way because magic. Well, we thought I thought we need I what? I thought I need I knew I need well Okay, maybe not. Okay, I'm pretty sure at the end of the last episode it pointed the other direction, but whatever. Are you going to collect that one? No, I have to do it. You're the one who uses them. Why do I have to collect them all? Gosh. Get that one since it's here. Why not? It's a waste of time if we don't do it otherwise. I'll probably do a lot more collecting of those in between episodes at some point. Once we've finished with this last place, which must be the big guy, the warrior, I'm pretty sure his name is, um, after we've done that bit, I'll stop my recording session probably because it's been, <laughs> I've been going for a while, uh, and then I'll probably go do go around and collect the light seeds in these particular areas. I'll record as well just in case something happens that might be important to include for you guys to see, and I'll have it as a clip, like I usually do. Whoop. Oh, again, nearly didn't realise that needed to be done. This one's right here, so I'm going to do it. Uh, apparently that was a bad idea. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Seriously? Fine, whatever. Uh. Okay, so evidently you need to slide down a little bit first, I guess. I suppose that actually does make sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that, because that should be pretty obvious considering how low it is, I guess. And I guess the light seeds there is a clue as well. Well done, me. I'm such an idiot. Sometimes, you know, just... You're a fool, Jester. I mean, I know it's in the name, but... You don't have to make it so obvious most of the time. <laughs> Know what I mean? For Mars, do you only jump in a slight crevice? You gonna do that in his name? He's easy to please, isn't he? The old god of light, isn't he? Huh? <laughs> or was her plea more in the line with... Was it for the jumping, or was it because I'd actually collected a light seed at that particular moment when you jumped? Maybe. That might actually be more true. Perhaps. I could see that being the case. Am I still going in the right direction? I realise I've not checked in a while. I run my eye in my knee. Anime? You like anime? Cool. Now I remember there's something really... The reason I remember the warrior so vividly is because I'm pretty sure there's something different about the way you have to fight him. Different about the, him in general. I just can't remember what it is. Like maybe you can't fight him quite the same way. Wow, that was loud. Like maybe, you, as, as I was saying, like maybe you can't quite fight him this the exact same way as you would anybody else. Why do I get the feeling if corruption didn't do this? Something worse did. Yeah, probably. In the last battle with Aramon, the city was given to the warrior. I think this could be his work. Okay. Let's just have a quick Is this chat. An average day for you? Does it look like it? Probably not. No. Guess not. Anything else you think you should be telling me? Please. Charmed, I'm sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Nothing's ever that easy. It's any consolation. I'm glad you were there to land on. Hey. How did I get into this? And what is this I've got into? Lots of stuff. Let's move on now. <laughs> Whoops. Nearly, oh, nearly missed that one. Nearly missed that one too. My timing was way off there. He's standing on the fertile ground. You can tell by the big old blue light that's present, funnily enough. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, okay, calm down, vines. I knew that distance between was too... Ah, oh, I'm judging distance now. 
cool. I knew the distance between. It was pretty obvious that one though. The distance between the platform we were standing on and the platform he was standing on. I knew that was too far, at least. Not completely stupid. Uh, some of the time. I do a really good, good job of insulting myself. Sometimes on purpose. Should really maybe work on that. Oh god, don't go too far. Yeah, he's big. He's big, and I can tell from here he's armor plated. So there's definitely something going on here that normal attacks are not going to affect him. Obviously. So if they go to so much trouble to make him so particular to be, why not do it with the others? The other guys, I can just... Okay. The other guys... I can at least... Was he talking to me or was he talking to Elika? I'm not sure. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, why... So, so why... Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that. But look at that. I mean, what exactly is me pushing her magic going to do for them? Seriously. Time it better, Jester. Yeah, just toss your sword around for a bit for some reason. Oh, God. That would have hurt. So, yeah, so if they go to so much trouble to make this guy specific to beat, you know, he's actually got differences to him. Why not do it with the rest of them? Don't understand. But oh, careful, jumping very close to a little edge there. All right. Am I to block your stuff? I am to block your stuff. Okay. Oh gosh. Nope, that didn't work. Okay. I, uh, I was going. I was working on the the idea that maybe bringing him to an edge would do something, but I guess. Not. Well, this is going to become a thing repeatedly, isn't it? Whoa, okay, hello. What about now? Nope, apparently not. Oh, ho, ho, ho. ouch. What am I supposed to do then? Uh, oh, do I want magic? Uh, no, I didn't do it at that time. No? Okay. I was thinking maybe she's standing up on his head. Maybe I'm supposed to use her magic before I just start slashing at him? That would make sense. Come on, I need to time. I'm not timing my blocks properly. Great, yeah. I do, unless so, I guess maybe her magic in that case is just this weird shieldy thing that I'm kind of helping her hold a little bit. God, he is really doing a number on me. Okay. Magic! Magic! Okay, that did something. What did it? Not much. Okay, never mind. Ah, yeah, I dodged, man. Can we do something, please? Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh! We actually do have him by an edge, and this animation is slightly different, so... Well, alright then. I had not expected that, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> you reckon? Do you reckon? God. Alright. Let's heal the fertile ground. Then we'll have a little chat. And we'll see where we can go from that. After you've had another org. Mm, after you've had another... Spell. There you go. Spell. She's had another spell. Let's go with that. It's tenuous. Tenuous. But I guess it'll do. <coughs> I guess it'll have to do. We've got all four fertile grounds now, so we get a proper cutscene. Or did we have a proper cutscene? No, we did have a, have a proper cutscene before. Never mind. I think we can get out that way. Thank you. 
I look at these lights, these sort of a power at the temple, each power will allow you to unlock a new land. Oh, yes. Basically, this is a basic, these lights, these things, it's basically a collectible mechanic, but they do actually serve a purpose in the game. Obviously, we see they actually have purpose in backstory. They're gifts from Ormazd uh, to increase her power, and we need her power to be able to travel to different places. I am remembering now. Okay. Right. We do not have enough to get to new places, though. And we saw the red tile in the hunter's place. Remember the first place we went to? We saw that red tile in episode two. Um, pretty sure you need the powers to use them. So we don't actually, we cannot go any further if I do not stop and collect some light seeds. Which is convenient because I was planning to stop my recording session five episodes in at this point anyway. I just wanted to get through those four dudes to begin with. It was a nice little broad spectrum intro so we know the roster of bad guys we know Araman's the big boss bad guy we don't know what he looks like quite yet though we know her dad's not exactly a good guy something going on there some sort of deal with the devil kind of thing and we know who the four corrupted generals lieutenants whatever you want to call them we know who they are now it's fun I miss this game I really do like the Prince of Persia games people have their criticisms about this one but I liked it and that's all that's important. It's not it's not the only thing that's important. It is kind of important that you guys enjoy it as well. But even if you don't like the game, maybe you can enjoy my play of it, I suppose. I'm a bit of a tit, really. Bit of a boob. So if nothing else, I entertain by being, as my name suggests, an absolute idiot and fool. As the word jester actually means. Jesters being the fools in the king's court. You know, the usual. So that makes you guys kings and queens. All of you. But I like to call you kidders. Because, you know, Jester, kid is people who are kid. Too much. Thanks for joining me, kiddos. I've been Jester, you've been awesome. This has been Prince of Persia. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more. And I will see you through the week. Why does she follow? She kind of gets in the way. If, you, if I were to have slashed down... When she was there, I would have caught her in half. She would have been right in the way.